It's Paige Cakey and you're tuned into the Guest List Network. So I'm here today with Paigey Keiki. How are you doing today? I'm really good, thanks. Yourself? I'm good, thanks for asking. So um, for those who don't know who you are, who is Paigey Keiki? Paigey Keiki is just like an artist, you know, I do a bit of acting and that. I'm just, I'm kind of new to the scene and I'm just like a female rapper. And um, I've done acting in Waterloo Road, Attack the Block, The Knot, so I'm just doing both. Okay, so how did you like get into the music industry in the first place? I'd done the song for my GCSEs and then I just released it when I was 17 and then I got a good response on like Facebook and YouTube and that, so I just decided, ah, oh, I might as well start releasing music. So I just started like that. And what about um, the acting industry? How did you get into that? Um, I just auditioned for Attack the Block. That was like two years ago I think and they just held like big open auditions and someone told me about it like a cast and director so I was just like alright I'll give it a go. And like you mentioned you've um, been in Waterloo Road recently as well um, how was that experience for you because that was like your first like TV thing? Oh that was amazing it's just proper like it's crazy because now like I walk on the street and I'm forever getting spotted and stuff like it's just mad and like I used to watch it when I was younger when it first came out and so it's crazy. So like obviously you're like doing two big things at once, acting and rapping. Which would you say is your favourite or can you even choose? I like both, but like music is more in me, like music is a way that I express myself. Whereas acting is like I'm acting, I'm pretending to be someone else, like I'm like playing a different role. So I kind of prefer music because I like expressing myself and so like who inspired you like growing up like musically who was your inspiration and who wanted you who made you want to get into the music industry i say it was me standing like <laughs> she was like my favorite rapper when i was really young and i'd say um missy elliott like missy elliott's just someone like she comes with crazy flows crazy lyrics and i used to listen to her when i was really young and i still do and i always wanted to be like her and do sick music so like you've collaborated with like Lady Leisha, um, Princess Naya, who in the UK and US like would you like to collaborate with? Oh, Missy Elliott. <laughs> Probably Missy or someone like Nikki or someone. Like I really do I really do support like females, so I'd probably if I was to do a collab with anyone, it'd probably be a female if I could pick. Yeah, because like being a female MC or rapper in the UK and the US, I think like image is a really big thing. Like how do you think that affects you being a female? It's hard because I always get compared to Miss Brat. The thing is, I love Miss Brat. Like, I really do love her music, but I'm always getting compared. And it's about image because she's what mixed race. I'm mixed race. I don't know. We kind of rap similar, so everyone's like, ah. Oh. So image is a big thing, and it's like you've got to find your own image. Like Nikki found her little Barbie and came out, and like who else has got? Um, do you know Azealia Banks? Yeah, like Azealia Banks is all on that mermaid kind of. Yeah. So like, I'm still looking for my image personally, but hopefully I find it. So like obviously, like you said, like there's a lot of um, comparing between like female MCs. Um, how do you plan to like differentiate yourself from other females in the game? Um, I'm just gonna try and do something crazy. I don't know what yet. It could be visuals in my music videos. It could be like I could start rapping on like 80s music. But I wanna. I'm still looking for something that is gonna make me stand out above the rest. So you performed at Hackney Weekender as well this year. Um, like you're, you grew up in Hackney and like what was it like to be able to perform like in the area you grew up in like that must have been really great yeah hey, that was sick because like I don't know Hackney Hackney used to be like not a boring place but it was just a norm, like it was just just a place where it didn't really have a good name and now it does and it's just crazy that I've grown from Hackney and when I found out about Hackney Weekend I was, I was online like yeah I want to get a ticket and then I found out I was performing and it was just amazing because it was like a massive crowd and it really did open up quite a lot of doors 
How do you find it like performing to like big crowds? Because I saw you at the Tinchy Strada show, you were supporting him there, and I was like, wow, like she's really good. Um, like, how do you like compose yourself? Do you get nervous before you get on stage? Like, how do you feel performing? Um, I get nervous, but you know, I just think a little Desirano. <laughs> but um, I don't know, but it depends how the crowd is. Like, I've done a few performances, and like the crowd just stand there and they're proper stush. And when they're like that, it is hard. It makes you feel like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing a good job, but I still put the energy in. But when the crowd is like cheering, it's amazing. It really, it proper gives me like a boost. So, um, obviously, you're really young, you're like, you know, just coming up now. Like loads of young girls are saying that they're inspired by you and like you're already like a role model to, to young people. Like how does that make you feel like being so young? You just started out as well. I always like, everyone that tells me things like that, I always go out my way and I'll like email them or reply back because it, it does mean a lot to me. Even though I might not show it because I'm shy and I don't know how to show things like that. But like that means a lot. Like it really makes me feel like I'm doing something good. And it's nice that other people have someone to look up to. So you've got your um, new single with Princess Naya out, um, can you tell us a bit about that? Um, hood Swag. It's called Hood Swag because it's got like a hood sort of feel to it, like the beat is just gritty and I try to go, I don't know, I just try to go for like a hood sort of sound so then just hollered Princess Naya and she was like yeah I'll do it and I got her on it and it's out on YouTube, it's got a video if anyone wants to check it out, just type in Pagey Cakey Hood Swag. Okay, cool. So um, you've also got your mixtape coming out, December 7th. Tell us about that as well. Um, that's my first mixtape. So it's called The First Page because I'm, I'm the first page. I don't know any other female rappers called Page, so I'm going to call it The First Page. And it's just got like a bag of music. It's got collabs from Tinchy Strider, Wiley, Princess Naya, Lady Leisha, Criminal and the rest is just all me. So yeah, just look out for that one. I'm not going to tell you nothing else. It's just going to be a big bang surprise. Okay, and what, what um, so far, like, what would you say has been your biggest achievement or what have you, like, done and thought, wow, I actually never thought I could do this? Um, I'm trying to think now. Um, I don't even know, you know. Probably getting collaborations with, like, bigger artists. Like, I've been watching Wiley from when I was young and to have a song with him, especially Tinty Strider, to have a song with Tinty and to perform and support him. And that, that's probably got to be my biggest achievement so far. Yeah, like it's great to be recognised by people like you've like watched in the past. That's amazing. Um, so what can we expect from you in the future? Like anything, we, we're going to see you in any more films? Like what else can we expect? Hopefully, hopefully I'll do more films than that. Um, I'm just going to keep auditioning, auditioning, and hopefully I get another part. And as for music, probably more mixtapes, more videos loads more shows and I just hope that my name can just go up with a bang. I'm going to put the work in and I'll just hope and pray. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and um, good luck with everything you're doing. I used to go hard like stones and pebbles, chilling in the basement till I met treble. Now they know my face so they spot me like a freckle, I be acting like a retard cause I'm so special. I want to be a Teletubby so I tell them eh oh, never, thinking that I'm greater, I want a little cheddar, I want to be fly. I have a jacket made of feathers, brothers thinking that they fly, they be pulling girls like ever, I'm a heavyweight, bitch at old kilos. I could get it unlocked, something like a keyhole, oh oh, pretty little lighty, skin colour chinos, I used to go hard, I was hair like regrowth now i go hard like the dick of a pedo but he knows i freaking rock the mic like an emo if you don't know then brother check my stilo you're a mug chilling with a cappuccino <laughs> i'm sick but some say i'm illa and if she thinks i'm rubbish then i'm gonna have to bin her <laughs> murder babes i'm a killer i'ma bring hell i'ma be a sinner i was coming in the first place always been a winner i've been stacking up my notes i should be a singer i tell him it's a rap then i eat him for my dinner yeah i tell him it's a rap then i eat him for my dinner I be chilling at home, Sherlock. You're moving like a novice of a learner. You say I'm going far, but you know I'm going further. I've never had beef so bun them burger. Yo, bun them burger, and that's cakey cakey. I don't sleep, so my eyes are lit. Lactose tolerance, I don't like cheese, but they want the loaf. It's cakey cakey.